Welcome Quest fans, Tony here. Today I'm taking a look at Descent Alps. You can get this game free from the SideQuest store. Now by hitting subscribe and the notification bell, you'll be kept up to date with all my latest content and really help support me and this channel. So let's take a look. So this game is a virtual reality skiing game. Here I am in the menu screen. Check out that website to be kept up to date with all the updates that are going on currently for this game. I'll leave the links in the description below so you can check them out there. We've got a few options here. We have the beat markers, which I'll talk about later, and the ghost skiers, which I'll also show you. Now there is a tutorial course, which I've already done. So I'm gonna start on course two, and I'll talk you through it as I go. So we have our ski poles in either hand and to begin, as you can see, I just swing them by my side and our goal is to pass through each of these gates until I reach that finish line. Now this game isn't very forgiving. If I miss just one gate, then I'll have to restart the course over again. You can hear we got a nice soundtrack in the background, but it's more than just a soundtrack. As you can see on screen, those two dots are what we call beat markers. If I swing my ski poles, just as those two dots meet, that will increase my speed and my control. So rhythm is also important if you want to do well in this game. Now you can also see to steer, I just move my head and shift my body weight in the direction I want to go. Now I played this game when it first came out on SideQuest and back then the steering wasn't too great but they've updated it since then and now it works great. So if you've also downloaded the earlier version, download this update version and give it a try because I think you'll like the changes. Now there are some additional game mechanics. If you straighten up from a crouching position, you perform a jump like you see here. You also get hurt when you hit obstacles. You can't take too many hits, otherwise the course will restart. And just by crouching, you can also increase your speed. You also have the option of turning on a ghost rider, which is basically a recording of your fastest attempt. So essentially I can race against myself, try to beat my personal best and observe my technique from my fastest time. So let's take a look at the third track. So the third track is a bit more exciting. It's all downhill. And so you really do pick up speed with this one. Now with this game, expect to be attempting a course multiple times before you actually manage to reach the end. But I found even though I was repeating a course quite a few times, it never got repetitive. The game was quite addictive and each time I attempted a course, I would get that little bit better. I'd pick up some tip or trick that would help me for next time. And so I'd get a bit better and a bit further each time I tried. Some of the things I found, for example, is always needing to plan your next turn. So as you can see, as I reach a flag, I'm already turning into the next one. And for me, I found it's important not to turn my body too hard one way or the other, and not to worry about speed when I'm completing the course for the first time. So now I'll show you the fourth and final map while I give you my impressions of this game. So with this final map, there are no gates, it's a free run. The only thing you have to do is avoid the obstacles. And like I said, if you get hit too many times, it will restart you from the beginning. So for the visuals, I think everything is quite crisp, clear, easy to make out. The controls work well, it's really quite intuitive, easy to pick up, but difficult to master. And I think it's that challenge that helps make this game so addictive. You're going to keep coming back again and again just to see if you can get that little bit further or complete the course a little bit faster. Now, although it looks intense, I never actually felt nauseous, although it'd be nice to see some comfort options for those who do get easily nauseous in VR. It'd be nice to see some small tweaks such as haptic feedback when you're using the poles. And of course the addition of many more maps and modes which I know the developer is working on as we speak. So for example a freestyle mode where you just get to relax, enjoy the music and hit the slopes. Or a time attack mode or a stunt mode where you have to say jump through 10 rings and completing these challenges could then unlock maps, skins, different music tracks just to increase the variety and the longevity of this game. But as I say the developer has been working hard making regular updates to this game and I know these things are in the works, but the overall core gameplay mechanics are here. And I've got to say, just the overall feel, the overall experience of this game, it just feels good, it feels right, and it leaves you wanting to come back for more. Now, as someone who's played a lot of side quest games, I would say this is one of the best side quest games I've actually played to date. 
it definitely deserves more downloads and I hope this video helps it get to where it deserves to be. Now this is just a pre-release demo of the game. The full game is expected in the third quarter of 2020. And that's it from me. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.